بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد ايها الاحبه في الله التوبه because this is the month of toba coming back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the holy month of ramadan toba habit fi Allah atoba to al itraf wa nadamu wa iqla'u a toba as some of the classical scholars define it is repentance meaning repentance and that it is recognition or confession a confession to Allah and sorrow and removing someone removing themselves from sinfulness this is one of the definitions of toba is that you you feel sorrow for what you've done and you confess your sins or you acknowledge that you've sinned to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is the beauty of Islam is that we don't have to go before the imam. We don't have to go before the community. We don't have to go before a preacher. We don't have to go before a priest. We don't have to sit with anyone and acknowledge our sins to them in order to seek this forgiveness. Instead, this is the direct relationship that you have with your creator subhanahu wa ta'ala. Unless, of course your sin relates to someone else's right so you may need to return their haq if you stole from them to return what you uh, had taken from them and asking for their forgiveness and seeking tawbah from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Habatifillah some of the ulama they also define tawbah as anadumu ala ma'asiyati ala ma'asiyatihi min haith hiya ma'asiyah مَالْعَزَمٍ أَلَّا يُعُودَ إِلَيْهَا إِذَا قَدَرَ عَلَيْهَا So some of the scholars, they referred to Toba or repentance as feeling sorry for disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you've committed. For the fact that it is disobedience to Allah. Just because of the fact that it is disobedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and being determined to not return to that disobedience to that sinfulness to that act of disobedience to Allah Azza wa Jal if a person is able to do that meaning able to fulfill that sin so what this means is that when a person they feel sor uh, sorry for the sin that they did and they are determined to remove themselves from that sin due to the fact that it is sinfulness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that they want to leave it not because they're unable to fulfill the sin so let's give an example for example the person that steals from people that robs their from their robs their houses they break and enter into people's homes but they do not they cease to break into people's homes due to the fact that they have a short ladder that they don't have the proper tools to enter into people's homes they broke their tools that they used to pick locks they don't have the appropriate ladder to get to the second third and fourth floor so for this reason they stop they say hey I you know maybe this is a sign I don't think I'm going to steal anymore because I really don't have the tools and I might get caught this is not toba in Islam toba is that you leave those sins for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you're determined to leave those sins not because you don't have the ability to do them but because you know that there's sinfulness and Allah hates those sins and you don't want to displease your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with toba and he says that he will forgive us if we make toba to him subhanahu Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says fataba alaykum that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will if you come to Allah 
you come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by doing good deeds, by leaving off the sins, by being determined to leave those sins and refrain from those sins in those sinful environments, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept your repentance. Alhamdulillah. Had the ni'mah adhima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commands us with tawbah when he says, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Nur, He says, and he, in the commandment form, in the imperative form, He says, Tubu إِلَى Allah, Repent to Allah. It's a commandment. And we already know that Al-Amr Yufid al wujub that whenever we have a commandment in the Shara, that this shows and illustrates for us that this is an obligation. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is commanding us to come back to Him, to make repentance to Him. Tubu إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا All of you make tawbah to Allah. All of you. It doesn't matter how great you think you are, or how great the people think you are, or that you're one of the ulama, you're an alam, rabbani. Make tawbah to Allah. Come back to Allah. The Prophet ﷺ made tawbah to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he was forgiven of those sins, those minor sins that he committed before, and those sins that he would have committed, or that he may have committed afterwards, any mistakes, as he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, and as was mentioned about him in authentic narrations. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَتُوبُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ جَمِيعًا All of you make tawbah, and then he addresses this, he uh, res this restricts this, he says, أَيُّهَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ O you, O you believers. So this is for the, the people of Iman, Ahli Iman. They make tawbah to Allah. They come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And they have sorrow. And they seek the forgiveness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَإِن تُبْتُمْ فَهُوَ خَيْرًا لَكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, If you make tawbah, if you repent, it's better for you. It's better for you. So Allah has given us the best of options. He's given us the best of guidance. The best speech is the speech of Allah. And the best guidance is that of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded us to make tawbah. And the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam commanded us to make tawbah and made tawbah, gave us this guidance, gave us this hadith. Ahabatifillah, strive your best to come back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and best bless us to be of the Tawabin wa Mutafahirin. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.